Uh, tonight, new at 6 o'clock, there is more information which has come to light over a fatal shooting in Parma involving two Cleveland police officers. On July 4th, two Cleveland officers went to Wareham Drive in Parma to follow up on a possible burglary at the home of one of the officers. Cleveland police said Dan Ficker became combative and after a taser had no effect on him, he was shot. Investigator Sarah Butterson joins us now. Sarah, what have you uncovered? Leon, I found information about Daniel Ficker's background. Police records show that he threatened to kill people in a bar in 2005, and after he was arrested, he refused to cooperate with police. They were just kind of good people, took care of their business, the house and the kids. Didn't see no problems. Daniel Ficker's neighbor, Jim Smith, says there was never trouble at his wear him drive home until the night of July 4th. I heard a commotion, a guy moaning or yelling outside, and I heard a loud pop. Police say Ficker was shot to death by a Cleveland police officer who was questioning him about a possible burglary. Cleveland police have said Ficker started fighting with the officer. It was a good commotion going on. They were throwing, sound like somebody was fighting or something. We found Ficker has had trouble with police in the past. In 2005, he was convicted of carrying a concealed weapon over an incident at a bar in the Bidolf Plaza in Brooklyn. The police report says Ficker kicked in a wall at the bar and made threats after being told to leave, saying, I've got Uzis and AKs. I'll off all you expletive. After being arrested, the report says Ficker was uncooperative and refused to answer officers' questions. Ficker's also had trouble in Parma. He went to jail in March for failing to show up in court for a noise citation. In 2008, a woman accused him of being the prowler who had knocked on her 16-year-old daughter's window, but no charges were ever filed. We are in, in constantly gathering information with the case. Parma Police Captain Robert D. Simon says Ficker's past won't affect the investigation into his death. The investigation will be done as completely and impartially as possible. Ficker's family has said Ficker would not have argued with the officer and have pressed Parma officials for action. He's just the, the son that you want to have. He's just a great son. Smith also wants to know why his neighbor ended up dead by a police officer's hand. I'd like to find out what the whole story is, what was going on. No one will be getting any answers about what happened the night Daniel Ficker died for a while. The autopsy report is not finished, and DeSimon says there are still people he wants to talk to. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Bodison, News Channel 5.